Yuri has so much to offer in this game, other people don't know that. So this video, I'm going to break down everything you need to know about Yuri from the moveset and how you can take advantage with his moveset, combos with controller inputs, gameplay strategy, new discovered tech that we even know or provided here. Stay tuned. By the way, if you like Demon Slayer Hino Kame Chronicles, then this channel is certainly for you. So please consider subscribing. Enjoy. So due to Rui's skills and all his neutral attacks, He's more of a zoner. In fact, he's probably the best zoner in the game. So if playing at this time and keeping your opponent at bay and zoning is your playstyle, then Rui is the guy for you. So yeah, start using Rui if you're that type of player. So skill one, which is web toss. All you have to do to do this skill is by pressing triangle for a spider web can be a stunning by adding two extra inputs and consume 20% of the skill gauge if you extend your combo with another super. So let me demonstrate it. So by web tossing, you can do this. It's a very good zoning move. To keep your opponent at a distance and at bay and you can also use it in the air and as you're using it in the air notice how Rui goes backwards so that's very good for you know what i'm saying keeping your opponent at bay and basically zoning just to stay at neutral so that you won't be at risk of punishment so it's a very good move if you want to zone but it does minimal damage even though it's minimal damage it's still very good zoning moves and you can cancel it with another move as well so you guys keep that in mind you can also use it in neutral combos so yeah you guys keep that in mind and also it can stop some supers if you're fast with it it can stop people doing supers as well so yeah keep that in mind all right so guys we're going to talk about the thread dash what you have to do is tilt l3 and press triangle at the same time to do this move it's basically like a spider move free prone that thread attack comes to 10 percent of school goals so don't spam this move or else you're going to run out of chakra it's a very fast and long range move and it's good for extending for the web toss and it's a very fast move so say if you want to catch up on of god with this move then use this spider-man move but i'm pretty sure most people or most veterans will use it for basically extending the web toss damage for more damage within the skill supers basically so in my opinion it's more recommended for you to use it to either catch opponent of god in the air because you can use this move in the air or use it to extend more damage with the web toss basically so basically you start with the web toss and then you end it with the spider-man move basically just for a little bit of more damage but yeah keep that in mind guys and now Rui's final skill and his most unique skill is the thread barrier this is basically a dp or reversal i don't know what you call it i'll call it a dp because it's basically an invincibility frame move all you have to do is press r1 and triangle at the same time to do this move create a barrier of threads then attack by unveiling it invincible until the attack consumes 20% of the school gold so basically this is a dp meaning what your opponent does is basically you have invincibility frames and you can easily extend combos of this as well but it stands a red combo so please don't rely on this move to, to obviously do the high damage combos because it, does, it starts a red combo like sometimes it starts a yellow combo it's very cons inconsistent but you know what I'm saying? In most cases, it starts a red combo. And it all, it is, because it's a DP, it basically punishes anything your opponent tries to do. Obviously, uh, the only thing that I can counter is like heavy attack and blocking. Parrying. So that's the only counter to this DP. And you can obviously extend this move. Sometimes this move is also safe on block as well. Like if you use this move, you're safe on block. As soon as you do this move, you can block so fast. And most DPs aren't safe on block. Like you, when you do a DP, you're basically completely exposed. But in Rui's case, he's safe on block. And in most cases, you can counter heavy attacks as well. So Rui's DP is actually very good, so utilize it when you're in danger, when your opponent is putting high amounts of pressure with you. He's the only person with a DP that can extend combos and is safe on block. So Rui's DP is actually probably the best DP in the whole entire game, in my opinion, because the fact that you can is most cases safe on block, you can extend combos, and you can add supers to it. Yes. Oh. Yeah, so guys, you saw that Rui's DP it literally stops ultimate, it can counter ultimate. So, you guys keep in mind Rui's DP can counter ultimate, as you can see from the video. And speaking of barriers, you know, Rui's red bars glowing at the top that's basically Rui's extra skills. We call it the demon skills. So, let's take a quick look at those demon skills. So, when you go down, you see demon skill one is blood demon up, murderous eye basket is basically another barrier attack by creating a cage of threads around the opponent continues 60 percent of the demon gorge basically so this move is very good it has basically max range and you can extend combos with it as well but if you use it in far you you because Rui's dash is not that fast you can't extend it from range if you was hoping 
to extend your combos within that much range but if you're very close to your opponent and you do this move you can extend your combos with yellow combo so keep that in mind and this this combo is very good for like basically for neutral combos very good move for like you obviously don't want to spam this move because obviously your red bar is also your escape gorge as well so just use it for combos once basically extend your combos it's a very good long range move so just use it when you can it's more useful for combos in my opinion because it's a very slow move and when your opponent is moving around a lot it doesn't catch your opponent but speaking about if you want to counter people who move around a lot we're gonna go for Rui's last red bar demon skill demon school 2 blood demon art cutting thread cage prison this is basically the trap move it's basically like an orokodaki move so this is the move you basically have to tilt l3 and l1 to do this move it's basically a trap move like a orokodaki but you, as you saw it can easily go away very quickly it's not like a orokodaki where you can place the trap for a long amount of time but yeah this is basically like a special type of move it's a trap move so when your opponent basically dashes to it you can get caught and you can extend your combo with it you can start a combo with it when your opponent gets caught with this move and i can demonstrate it right now so obviously don't spam this move just spam it don't spam this move just use it when you're basically your opponent trying to dash you way too much and just use it very quickly because your opponent can easily mash out of this move and mashing can basically beat this move easily so just use it quick and you can use it to extend combos it's not as good as the first demon skill that i showed and also you don't want to spam this move too much it's a very good trap move though as as rui does this move he basically jumps back when he does the move so it very is good for keeping your opponent at distance at, at bay and basically keeping you safe from mashing see like he just goes back he basically jumps back as soon as he does the move so yeah uh keep yourself safe from you know what i'm saying like the wrong goku plays you get me so just use the move and you can also use two moves but obviously yeah just manage your meter because remember this is also your escape gorge as well so yeah just keep that in mind it, it catches people who do the supers as well so you guys keep that in mind as well in terms of his moveset like his his like his neutral attacks it has very good range so meaning it has a potential good hitbox so basically you can be in a certain amount of range to just use his neutral attacks and for example when your opponent is mashing you can just push block and just just attack you don't even need to like do a heavy attack all you need to do is just attack but the range of his attacks is so like so long is that you can even think of it as of like a super so you use your attack if you anticipate your opponent being close to you and that his neutral attacks are also fantastic for countering people that use that like to spam support and spam assist so basically especially if you're in this position you can easily just attack and boom look as you can see he basically countered this assist so this is very good for a Nezuko assist spammers or Shinobi assist spammers. Definitely use his neutral attacks to advantage in terms of those players. And his grab is very long as well. So if you want to mix up, you can mix up in a certain amount of range. Rui's normals are very unique and very new and very good. So yeah, you guys utilize that into your advantage. Just to counter people who like to spam support and obviously keep in your certain amount of range. And if you're like a zoner, if you like to keep yourself at distance, this is the guy for you. Yo listen, if you're struggling to use Akaza in Demon Slayer PvP matches, watch this video right here to have an in-depth guide on how to use Akaza. I also have an announcement, so I'm going to bring ranked gameplay and fun ranked matches to the channel. It's going to be very entertaining, so you guys, hopefully you guys stick around to watch these videos rather than my guys and my tutorials and that. And obviously, yeah, 
by the way and yeah it's gonna be very very nice content and obviously if you enjoyed this guy leave a like subscribe to the channel while at it thank you for watching i'll see you guys very very soon man make sure you guys stay blessed